You may think you're washing your hands effectively, but are you really? Coming up in today's Your Healthy Family, an infection prevention manager for a hospital system shows us the way they have healthcare workers wash their hands to keep themselves and their patients healthy. One of Brian Nepper's responsibilities as the infection prevention manager for UC Health in Colorado is making sure the healthcare professionals are at the top of their hand washing game. This is the one of the things that we use to train and it's called GlowGerm. So it's a fluorescent gel, put it on your hands and it shows up under a black light. So are you washing your hands the right way? You want the water to be comfortable you don't want it to be too hot or too cold. You get your hands wet, you get soap on your hands, and then you want to cover every surface and you want to rub vigorously so that you're scrubbing off whatever bacteria, viruses, dirt, anything like that that might be on your hands. You want to go around the front and the back. Then you want to get in the middle in between and you want to do around your thumb as well. A lot of people forget that. Um, but your thumb, you touch lots of things with your thumb. And how often should we be washing our hands? As often as possible. Certainly wash your hands before you eat something. You should certainly wash your hands um, after you use the bathroom. Now he said before you don't want the water to be too hot or too cold and you want to use effective soap but he says washing your hands with whatever water or soap is available is better than nothing. So if you have cold water and that's all you've got and you've got some soap that is expired, it's still gonna be better than not washing your hands. And when you're done washing your hands, don't ruin all of your hard work. Leave the water on when you finish, dry your hands off with a paper towel, and then use that to turn off the faucet. Because the faucet handles are probably not clean, you just use them with your dirty hands to turn on the water, so they're not clean. You wanna use the, the paper towel in order to turn that off. Same goes for when you leave the bathroom. Keep that paper towel in your hand to open the door. For Your Healthy Family, I'm Lisa Greenberg. And for more health stories, head to fox4now.com slash yourhealthyfamily.